Dumbarton Foot, Chapter 1.1, Question 3 and 4. We want to prove that addition of residue classes is associative and that multiplication of residue classes is associative. In the textbook, they say that in both cases we may assume that addition and multiplication of residue classes are respectively well defined, but you might not always be allowed to assume that. So first I'm going to prove that addition modulo n and multiplication modulo n are both well defined and then answer the actual questions showing that they are associative and that yeah that addition is associative and multiplication is associative. So first let's state as a theorem that addition modulo n and multiplication modulo n are both well defined. Okay. So what do I mean by this? So I'll say that is the congruence class of A1 plus the congruence class of A2 is equal to the congruence class of A1 plus A2. And similarly, if we multiply the congruence classes of A1 and A2, it is the same thing as the congruence class of A1, A2. That's what we want to prove. So proof. Let A1 be congruent to some B1 modulo n and A2 be congruent to some B2 modulo n. What does that mean? It means that A1 is equal to B1 plus Kn for some integer k. Okay? And A2 is equal to B2 plus Mn for some integer m. We can't assume that they are the same integer multiples, but we do know that they are integer multiples. So what happens if we add these? Adding gives a1 plus a2 equals b1 plus b2 plus k plus m n. All right, so that means that a1 plus a2 is congruent to b1 plus b2 mod n, which is what we wanted. So that tells us that the congruence class of A1 plus the congruence class of A2 is the same thing as the congruence class of A1 plus A2. In the same manner, so similarly, a1 dot a2 is b1 plus kn times b2 plus m n which will give b1 b2 plus b1 mn plus b2 kn plus k m n squared. So 
what does that look like? That means that a1 dot a2 is equal to b1 dot b2 plus b1m plus b2k plus kmn times n. Okay, so a1 dot a2 is equal to b1 dot b2 plus some multiple of n which is again what we wanted so that tells us the congruence classes of a1 and a2 when multiplied give us the congruence class of a1 a2 so this addition and this product I put it as a dot in the proof, but I noticed in the statement of the theorem, I put it as a traditional multiplication sign with a subscript n. I apologize for that uh, incons inconsistency, but they both uh, mean the same thing for purposes of this exercise. But in any case, we have both these things being well-defined. So now it's pretty easy to show that they are associative. Okay, so we're finally going to answer the question. Questions three and four, that is. So for question three, addition of residue classes is associative. Well, you can see that that holds because if you have a congruence plus b congruence class plus c congruence class, that's equal to e plus b congruence plus c, which is the same as a plus b plus C congruence class, which is the same thing as A plus B plus C congruence class, which is the same thing as A plus B plus C. That's associativity right there. And for question four, same thing's gonna happen. Congruence classes are being multiplied. So that is equal to AB congruence class. C congruence class. ABC congruence class. ABC congruence class. A congruence B congruence class. C congruence class. Okay, so multiplication is also associative.